In this video, we'll see how to consume REST services with Genexus using the open API protocol made by third parties or published from Genexus. In particular, how we can invoke HTTP methods of REST services or how to consume a secure REST service. We're going to consume the Get Attractions by Country service, which we built by publishing the Get Attractions by Country WS procedure as a service using the Get Attractions Info API object that we saw earlier. To import the REST service definition, we go to Tools, Application Integration, Open API Import, and write the URL or the file path of the JSON file with the Swagger specification of the REST service. Swagger is a set of open source software tools for designing, building, documenting, and using REST services that was developed by SmartBear Software and includes automated documentation, code generation, and test case generation. The file that we're going to import with the specification can have a JSON or YAML extension, which is a superset of JSON. If, when publishing our REST service, we set the Generate Open API Interface property to true, available in the API object or in the procedure exposed as REST, the Swagger specification file with the YAML extension is automatically generated in the environment web folder. The Swagger file that we import can have an open API specification version 2 or 3. As of version 17, upgrade 6, Genexus supports both version 2 and version 3 of the open API specification. Continuing with the example, in the dialog box where we're asked for the path, we look for the file getAttractionsInfo.yaml in the web folder of our active environment. In module slash folder, we write the name of a module that we created before to contain everything that we import. This is good practice in case we import an object that has the same name as an existing object in the KB. We press the import button and see that the wizard finds the two services that we'd exposed with the API object. We click on Select All, and then OK. If we open the module, we see that there are three folders, one called API containing two procedure objects with the name of the services, which we're going to execute to invoke the services. Also, a client folder containing a procedure called API Base URL that returns the base URL that will be used to invoke the service, and that we can change if we want. As well as a model folder, which in this case is empty because the previous methods do not return any SDT. In the rules of the procedures, we find the input parameters where the variable server URL templating var is present in all the procedures that are consumed, and the others are the ones that we recognize. As output parameters, we have the varchar out variable that will contain the requested information and the HTTP message and is success variables that we can use to have information on the execution of the service. Just as we stress the importance of security for SOAP services, we must do the same for REST services. Secure REST services are based on the OAuth security scheme and this involves defining the client, that is, the application, the users, user ID and user password, and the permissions, read, write, full control, and so on. In Genexus, this is implemented through the GAM with authentication based on OAuth version 2.0. When we expose a procedure, a data provider or a business component as a REST service, if GAM is applied, the REST service is identified as an application within the GAM repository. To give access to the service, we must configure the roles, users, and permissions of the service application, and then provide the client identifier, client ID, of the application, username, and password to the consumer of the service. Before invoking the service, the client must obtain an access token. For that, it must make a post to the GAM repository with the client ID 
and the access credentials provided before. The GAM response will be a JSON with the access token and type of permission, full control, and so on. This invocation to the GAM repository can be made using the getOauth access token method of the GAM API. Once the token is obtained, a variable of HTTP client type must be used to consume the REST service. More information can be found in the wiki. In the article, how to develop secure REST web services in Genexus. Just as we customize how SOAP services are consumed, let's see how we can customize the way a REST service is consumed. Although it's recommended to import the definitions of a REST service with the import open API wizard we saw, sometimes the service information file, the .yaml extension, is not available. In these cases, it's possible to invoke the HTTP methods get, put, post, and delete using a variable of HTTP client type. Let's see an example for invoking a public REST API that returns data about countries. To invoke the web service, first we create the variable, and then we assign the properties to it, host, port, secure, and base URL. Next, we add the header of JSON type and invoke the execute method, passing the method we want to use and the parameters required by the service. In this case, we're passing the language because we want to retrieve the Spanish-speaking countries. After the invocation, we process the status code returned. If it's 200, we get the JSON string, and otherwise, we give an error message. To use the other HTTP methods, we replace the parameters of the execute method with the HTTP method we want. And then we use the appropriate parameters according to the method. For example, in a delete, we must pass the identifier of the record that we want to delete. Let's run this example in Genexus. We've created the web panel get countries info using HTTP get and included a button to invoke the service in the web layout and a result variable to show the JSON that we will obtain. In the button event, we see the code that we already explained. We execute the web panel that is set as main We press the button and receive the information of the Spanish-speaking countries as we wanted. For more information, read the wiki article, Consuming Arrest Service with Genexus. In these videos about web services with Genexus, we try to address the most common use cases of publishing and consuming both SOAP and REST services, using the simplest examples and in situations where customization is required. Feel free to explore this and other related topics in more detail in our wiki.